So in Colorado, we have a front range corridor that is mostly urban suburban, but really out of 178 districts in Colorado, about 140 of them are designated as rural. We have remote rural, um, we have um, small rural and rural districts all across Colorado. We have uh, Eastern Plains and mountain communities. And so we have a lot of geographic diversity um, and a lot of rural diversity. Um, so, you know, one thing we heard was that where our front range districts can create these innovation centers where they have um, post-secondary and career pathways, um, our rural communities didn't, didn't have the same opportunity and the same resources to, to start those pathways up. So that's one of the ways the idea was kind of created was how can we invest in rural um, communities so that they can do the same thing that our front range partners do. We wanted to take a look at the ESSER funding. We, we realized it was a once in a generation opportunity to have this infusion of dollars and we wanted to think about how can we use this infusion of dollars to both support students now but also to seed innovation and seed the engagement of students for the future. They, um, at a high level, invested at least 15 million, probably more, in um, what we call the Rural Co-Action Grant. So one of the premises of the Rural Co-Action Grant is that rural districts work together so that they can invest limited financial resources but all get the benefit of um, really these these pathways for students to get work-based learning or post-secondary um, experience. But this way with the Rural Co-Action Grant, they have some startup money to build those pathways, but then they can share the resource sharing over time so that they, they can sustain these programs. And they, they don't each have to build a, a school to career pathway. They can transport students within their region to benefit from these programs.